What up, it's your boy Naftastic, and welcome back to my United series. Um, we're going into a run of games here, which looks a little favourable for us to continue our push forward. Um, I think we've got Palace next, which is a very winnable game. We need to be looking to win games like that, as we continue to mount our title challenge. We've got Chelsea ahead of us, but they're slightly out of reach at the minute, but... You know, we just need to keep putting the performances together to make sure we stay in contention. And keep that pressure up to know, to let Chelsea know that they can't drop points. So, as you can see, a good little run they got. Palace, Norwich, West Brom, Ajax, Villa, Villa. All, you know, games that I can get a result from. Um, games where I can continue to extend my unbeaten run. So good to start this one. I'm playing Yanezay and Morrison, giving the youngsters a little bit of a go. Um, I think I should be able to beat them with that with that team quite comfortably still. But let's see how we get on. On the attack straight away. And that's a foul. I'm not sure it's card, not a red card, because he was the last man and he denied a goal scoring opportunity, but it doesn't matter because Michael Carrick gets it anyway. 1-0. Lovely stuff. And we're continuing to press against them. They're having a tough time of it. And there's a second down, Fletcher. Lovely. 19 minutes in and we're tuning a lot. That's, that's pretty much the game. I can't see Palace getting two. Oh. <laughs> and then straight away they try and put the pressure up on me. Now we're creating a little... As you can see, my back four is very young, or apart from ever, young and developing. So, since scoring the two goals, it's been a very quiet game. Which I don't, I, you know, I don't mind. Got two 0 lead, so and then right to the end, then fantastic victory is sealed. But I'm just gonna bring on some fresh legs anyway. Zaha in that midfield or even it's well out of position for him he's either a wide right player or a striker but I'm playing him sort of like right and in the middle as an attacking midfielder and the last palace on the last minute attack they've got a consolation but that's all that should be really can't see them getting another there you go 2-1 we got one win from one. Lovely. Now to continue on, I'd say. Jones is about to trigger a clause, that's fine. He's uh, one that I expect to be around for a long, long time. We got Diaz. Made his debut as well. Can't have, Can't have too many complaints. The report, the Sky report says he was like two star rated, but I reckon he'll develop into better than that. If not, I've got a great cover, so. Let's keep going, little press conferences. Continue that unbeaten one, thank you. Chelsea won against the Arsenal, which doesn't help. I thought they might drop points there. But it doesn't to be. Just a little bit of training, get that focus up. I'm just doing ball control and attacking this time, but I like to do like individual focuses on training. It's just uh, a little something that I think helps the team a lot. And you do notice a difference sometimes, like especially when I do defensive training. Generally, the performance defensively is a lot better. And it's good to see that people are a bit concerned, but I'm a bit concerned about the three players that had concerning performances in training. Actually, I'm not so fussed about it, because he can... I decided he's going to leave in January. Whereas the other ones that... Hopefully it was just a one-off. Board still... Not completely sold on me, because it's just stable. Or rather secure. 
stable. The World Royal Rumble shortlist. Don't know how David Silva made that list for play to him, but City are struggling, so. You know, you have to be playing some worldly style of football if, that's, if you're going to get nominated. Charles are playing Sunderland here. Dark Chelsea did so they won as well so just to continue to show that I can't slip up because they are consistent right now they don't oh so it looks like Liverpool sat Brendan Rodgers which is ridiculous because you know you've seen in real life if you give someone a bit of time their philosophy is their ideas come to fruition whereas you know if you kick someone out, you just you leave the team in the light, especially mid season. I know Liverpool are underperforming in the game this season, but or well, this game anyway. But sometimes you just have to plow through it. Like, I don't think a different manager is going to have that much of a difference. Even the they're targeting Diego Simeone, he is just fantastic. But let's see how they do. I don't mind to. <laughs> Continue to struggle, you know. As a United fan, I'd like to see them have a tough time of it, but should be more focused on my team because they are scoring one nil there, two minutes forty five, and that's Ravel getting a goal. So if you can add to it, by the looks of it, we are dominating proceedings. And there's your second loud. Oh, it's just loud. It's a quiet game, this. <laughs> and you're controlling it, don't get me wrong, but it's not nothing really eventful. It seems just like we have a very professional ability to score and then just control the game so we don't concede, well, not too often anyway. Nice little knocking around, like passing movement there. Good, oh, I don't know. How that got cleared out. Oh, getting closer. Ida Alvarez Blanta's heading stat is not Magnificent, but it's definitely one which, with a bit of improvement, he's going to be a real goal threat because every corner is always seems to be in and around there. There's another move. Counter. Oh, surprised we haven't scored a second yet. Had some great chances. Come on, let's get a second now. There you go. Ravel with the second. It, and it, and this game is over. So it should be two wins from two. You know, keeping the roll going. You know, doing top stuff. Nice little couple of performances there. Now we can continue to push for that top spot. Even the Chelsea not dropping it, the continued pressure we apply could make them crack. And that's the aim. That's the ambition of all. Messi, Messi tip to win award. Not surprising. In real life though, I can't see past Cristiano Ronaldo for the award this year. He's just been ridiculous. So good. Like I think he's outscored every Premier League side in the calendar year, which is just a crazy stat. Uh, looks like our tactics are c inching closer to being fully understood. Nothing more than that. Clark reacts to underachievement discussion. I wasn't really being that sort of condescending. I was trying to. 
I was just I guess there's a press twisting more words, but I was just trying to sort of say that they should stick with Steve Clock because he does a good job, and similar to Brendan Rodgers, you don't cut them out, you don't sack them after like you know such short amount of time. Steve Clark, I think Steve Clark's gonna get West Brom sat just like Liverpool aren't gonna get that relegated. Sorry, they're relegated either. So. So let's probably start this game brightly, or rather concerningly. Nice, nice little passing movement here. There, oh, oh, Zaha, straight away. We're sort of trying to take the game to me, but, you know. Uh, we're doing okay thus far. Continue this lovely little period of controlling the game. A credit to West Brom, they are not letting up. They're making this much harder for me than the other two are. Oh, the injury to Cleverly. So, I would have liked to keep him fed, but again, it's not the end of the world that he's not. They're going to put for a in that centre midfield role where he does so well, but... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. He does so well, but he seems to prefer the centre-back position. Whereas, whereas, if you think about the level of performance he's given in either role, in centre mid, he's just been putting some real worldly performances in that. Again, that game against Arsenal, you can just see how effective he can be in that role. And he's got that aura about him where he can just drive the ball down the field and you know, just go past players without doing the, like, the most skillful things. He's just got a natural like, sort of power and ability to him. Anyway, there's a second goal in a free kick from Miralem Pjanic. He's going to be my designated free kick taker, and if not this season, then definitely next season. He's improving on that front, and I might want to get him to take corners to take over from Van Persie because you know he can put in a good set piece and I'd rather Van Persie was in there to try and score him rather than putting in great crosses the crew like we're now ticking towards the final whistle well, what's that we're giving us a good game there by our players some of our players <laughs> and I've got no more subs left so luckily Phil Jones was on the pitch otherwise I'd be left in the lurch a little. I just need a good little period from the team here just to like control the game and see it out. I have to say, West Brom has been probably one of the better teams that I've played because they have kept me on my toes. There you go. See? Completely exploited the fact that I've uh, got one less uh, player on the pitch. Concerning her. Ooh. Thank goodness for the other side. Oh. Should that have sealed the game? Still nervous times here because West Brom are on it. Oh. Getting offside. There you go, that's gonna and there's a win. Three from three. We are doing fantastically well. You know, keep it going and who knows what can happen. Chelsea win again though, <laughs> they are <laughs> they're ruthless, I'll tell you that. Continuously getting the points without without breaking much of a sweat. And against good teams too. They had, Ar they had Arsenal, they had Liverpool. Even at Liverpool, I think they were 11th when I saw that, so it's not the best at times. I've got Ajax now, I think the game is, I mean I've already qualified from the group. This is really a game where, to decide rather, who finishes top. So with a win I'm definitely top. Um, 
with a draw and a Napoli draw, then I'll stay top also. So, can do. let's see what we can do. So, I mean, I changed up the team, not massively, but I brought in a few youngsters and trying to get a result, but obviously Ajax is going to play out their skins to try and cement that Europa League, Europa League place rather. Very quiet half this one. Ooh. Oh, I was applying the pressure there. Very dangerous for my defending. Well, we protected the goal. That's what matters. I to say, fair play to Ajax is really putting a threat in here. Let's keep it going. I'm quite happy with the draw. I did provided uh, Napoli draw as well. Get the young Ravel on. Twenty minutes to go, and there's really not much to talk about in this game. Actually, if we can sneak a goal. That'd be great, but. At the moment, I'm not sure where it's coming from. So I'm putting Ryan Giggs on just to change out. Give him a game. See what he can do. It's two minutes to go. What a dull aim. <laughs> Oof. I just almost stole it there at the death. Can we have a go at stealing it? Oh, no. Her best chance really comes at the last minute. <laughs> well, it's okay. No, no draw. Our unbeaten run continues, and Napoli drew as well, which means top of the group. They finished top of the group, so no issues there in at all. Obviously, performances will need to improve if I want to get further down in the competition. But who cares? Right, right now we're qualified for top of the group, so we're giving ourselves the best chance. Next game is what matters most. I'm trying to renew Rooney's contract here because it expires at the end of next season. So I want really to keep him locked in because he's been one of our best players. In one of our real life, he's been one of our best players. Um, I don't want to pay over 200k for him. So I think a strategy that I've tried out and I think will work is just paying a large amount to the agent. Essentially, agents don't really care that much about how much their player gets. As long as they get a nice slice of the pie, that's the way I look at it. So, I mean, I'll give it that approach. See what happens. Give him 5 million. Let's give him an international cap bonus. Because obviously England don't pay that much, I'm quite happy to pay a little bit extra. And obviously, an incentive to score more goals, which only helps the side. And then let's see what happens. I think, I think I probably could have got away with the rest of it, but obviously with the agent being getting that extra little bit of payment, done deal. So now we move on to Fulham, and then we've got Villa in the Capital One Cup. <laughs> Look at that achievement unlocked, undercover agent. I think it's exactly for that payment to his agent, which helped. Sweeten the deal, should we say? Obviously, it was all above board because it was initial, official. But when agents are getting paid a significant amount, it's generally quite easy to do business because you know the players pretty much really the best deal agents to get the best deal possible for them. But it's not often the case, or not always the case, should I say? We've got that locked in there. He's only scored five goals this year and from fourteen appearances. But he's playing in that attacking midfield role and he's doing a good job there, so five goals from fourteen will do just fine as long as everyone else pack picks up the slack. But the key now is to continue our momentum now that we've had three unbeaten games from three. Um um 
Fulham should be interesting. They've got Sidwell, Stockdale, and Fulham too. The last pair was out, so I don't know if that's a ma- major difference. Obviously, the main threat I'd say is Berbatov, Brian Ruiz. But it looks like we're doing okay. Nice little run. Keep it going, keep it going. Don't get that beat after missing that. It's okay. Nice. Look good on moving there. There you go, there's a goal that was kind of for the sea gets another for the sea gets another for the season. Brilliant stuff. A se- what a second goal that is. Just look at that. That is the difference between good players and great players. Just snap finish from a likely position and it puts us in a comfortable position going into half time. That was too easy there, cutting. Just never let him to charge into the box. Really. Little things that I know that, that Fabio can improve upon. I really want to see him do well. Oh, go conceded. Darren Bent. A little bit of a goal machine. A bit of an underrated goal machine, Darren Bent is. Just taking Rooney off and bringing his smalling on. Try and shore up that back line. Ten minutes, ago, ten minutes ago, let's just see this out. Five, four, three, two. Doing well here. Let's see it out, lads. Oh, last minute attacks. That's okay. <laughs> Got worried that I thought they were definitely going to score. Uh, so again, did I don't know what Chelsea result was, but we're keeping that pressure up. A third win from this series of four games, with the draw being in Champions League football. So you know we've given exactly hundred percent what we needed to give in the Premier League, and as long as we continue to do that, Chelsea will feel the pressure and they will drop points at some stage. So. That's the best thing we can do to continue to like push for the title, and I think we. Have, I know, Ch- I know Chelsea looking quite imperious at the moment, but it quite conceivably could be that they start brightly, have a bit of a mid-season like wobble, and then push on at the end of the season. That's what I'm banking on. I mean, I've had a bit of a shaky start to start off with. I'm hoping I continue to improve, such that when. I'm at my peak, they have their roll ball and I can close that gap. But here we go, Capital One Cup game against Aston Villa. Gonna make a few changes, as you can see. See what we can get out of the game. It's not gonna be easy. I mean, Cup games are always unpredictable because teams give their all. But with that being said, the quality of players at my disposal should win this game. Then again, we've made a hash of it against some of the other teams in the tournament thus far. I, I wouldn't mind if we played just like we have with the rest of the games. Just control the present or just the, the proceedings of the game, and then sneak a goal here or there, and then just protect the lead. A very like Mourinho style performance, as you say. Uh, so we're going to go into half time with the oh hold on, the attack here. Or oh. going to go into half yeah. So we're going to go into half time with Villa having the best chances I'd say. And look at that. We just can yeah protect that. We don't want to concede before half time. Nicely done. And that's half time. Yes, yeah, so we're going in nil nil. We've soaked out their pressure. Now the aim is to kick on and get that goal oh hold on that was not in the script there. 
But they were a good free kick, and they're one nil up. Concerns for the concerns start. <laughs> Jones coming on. I'm gonna put Van Persie on, and I think I'll put Pjanic on as well. Bit more experience. See if they can change the momentum of this game. And almost instantly, there's the equaliser. The own goal, but you can see just the difference they made. They've just look at that back on the edge again. So there's your second goal. Ravel Martin. Oh, talk about impact. So oh, that is exactly it right now. Just change the game on its head within a matter of a few minutes, and now Villa on the back foot while we continue to attack. Hit the crossbar there. Good pressure. Can't make any more subs. Forgot about that. <laughs> Can we this game now? Lovely, great result. We're through to the next round. At um, one point, so we weren't looking too bright, but as soon as those changes come on, we've sorted out that game. And it's been a brilliant run in this episode. Can't have any complaints at all. The key, though, is to continue that skirt and like just keep up the performances. And see what we can do. Got Arsenal next, and I got a few other key games coming. Up. Look at that Liverpool City. So the next few games is a tough one. I'm seven points behind Chelsea. Um, it's hard, but it's not impossible. Like I said, if we continue to put the showings in, we'll do well. Just see the Cup One Cup draw here. Got Newcastle, which is tough, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna end the episode here with that fantastic run. And we're going to regain, refocus for the next episode. Until then, until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now. See ya.